Hi, I'm Mark Miklich, Technical Product Manager for Small Character Technologies. In today's video, we're going to discuss setting up USB text data in a message in our Jetstream CIJ printer. All right, so first off, some of you might be wondering what is this feature for or how can I use it? Uh, with the USB text data feature, what we can do is we can load a text file onto a USB containing several rows of data. In fact, the file we're going to use today has uh, 50,000 individual uh, rows of data. Um, we can take that file, put it on a USB again, plug it into the printer, we can link it to a message template and dictate how that data is printed. So we can print each row of that data uh, onto our product. Uh, this could be you know, random codes. So if you're doing like a lottery scenario, um, this could just be you know, whatever information you need it to be in that file, we can print each line of a row of that data. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna take an Excel spreadsheet. I'm gonna show you how to convert it to a text file. Again, that's the format we need to utilize that feature. Once we do that, again, we'll get it plugged into the system. I'll show you how to set up the message to link it to that file, and then we'll start printing. Okay, to try to give you guys a better idea of how this is going to work, we've got an Excel file or an Excel spreadsheet opened up here. You'll see we've got a column of, in this scenario, random codes. Again, each row in this column can be whatever data you want it to be. Again, these are just some random codes, 10-digit uh, codes that have been generated. And there's actually 50,000 uh, codes in here, for example. So you can, you can have a lot of data in here. Um, so what we're going to do, we'll discuss how this file should be saved first, then I'll show you quick how to convert it to a text file, really straightforward, then we'll show you how to get it onto the printer. So one thing that'll make life easier uh, first is if you do have additional columns in your Excel spreadsheet here, get rid of those. All we want is the column with the data that is to be printed. So let's say column B, for example, had data in it, we would go ahead and delete that column, okay? And then we could save this as a separate file. You'd still have your original template, okay? So once you've got it whittled down to just the column of data that you need to print, we would go ahead and click File, Save As, and you can name this whatever you want. We just have it called Bulk Random Codes. Um, the important part here is we do want it to be a, a comma delimited file format, so you'll see CSV here. Make sure you select that. It'll make life easier when we do convert it to a text file, okay? So you see you have a drop down here. You'll see CSV as an option. Just make sure you select that, okay? We can go ahead and save it, and that's all you need to do for saving your, your Excel spreadsheet. Now I'm actually going to go back, since ours is already formatted the way we want it. Okay, so we just have the one column of information here with all these 50,000 rows of data to be printed. We're going to go ahead and go back to File, Save As. We're going to revisit this drop down here. And again, you could also rename it if, you, if you'd like. We're just going to carry the same name. And what we're looking for is Text Tab Delimited. Okay, so if you click that, You'll see we now are uh, with the text format. We're going to click Save. And I'm just saving this to the desktop of my PC. And this will save that separate file uh, as a text file. Okay. So we can go ahead and close out of Excel. And then I'm going to have the, that text document open just to show you guys the, uh, the appearance. Okay, so here's our text file. Again, it's all the same codes um, from that spreadsheet. Again, there's a, a pile of them in here. This particular file has 50,000. Um, so this is all we needed to do to get that data into that text file that we needed, all right? So now what we're gonna do is get this onto a blank USB. We're gonna plug that into the printer. Again, we'll show you how to manage it from there. So here's a blank USB drive. I'm just, I have copied that text file. I'm pasting it onto the USB. Again, so I have a USB plugged into my PC right now. This is really straightforward. So we've got our bulk random codes on that USB. 
Now we're going to plug that USB into the printer. All right, so we've got our USB here. We're going to plug this into the printer again. So on the left hand side of our cabinet, you can see we've got a USB port here. We're just going to open this up and slide our USB in. Okay, now that we've got our USB in our printer, we're going to go ahead and set up a message uh, so we can use this file for printing. So we're going to go to our editor here. And if you do have any questions, uh, you know, generic questions or general questions, I should say, on setting up a message, make sure um, you do review our video on message creation for the Jetstream. Okay, we're going to kind of move through the, the actual setup part fairly quickly here. Um, so we're going to go to a blank template. And, uh, you know, for this particular example, I'm going to use a fairly large raster mode just so we can ultimately see what we're printing. Typically, we're not going to be, you know, most applications won't be printing this large. So again, this is just for visual, visual reference. Um, so all we need to do once we've kind of got our template set up is we need to select this option right here specifically for the USB data. You could have other elements in this message. We could have, you know, static text, counters, date, time, shift codes, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is just for setting up that um, USB text data portion of the message. So we're going to click this USB icon right here and you'll see we've got a pop-up with a few options. Now this is the first piece of USB data we're plugging into this template. You'll see if we click this drop down you can do multiple different files so we could have several different file names on that USB. We're just doing one today. Okay so we're going to leave that at USB data one. Now we need to locate the data file, that text file. So we're just going to click browse and what we're going to do after that on this pop-up is switch from local disk, which is printer storage, to USB. And right away you're going to see that bulk random codes text file that's on our USB. So select that. When you select it, you want to see it pop up in the file name up top here. Click open. Okay. And you'll see a couple things happen here. You'll see the data file, bulk random codes up here now. You'll also see the, the uh, very last uh, piece of data there. After that, what we can do is we can set the maximum number of characters. So every single one of my random codes is 10 characters. And it actually recognized that. So we're just going to leave that at 10. Okay, there's really not much we have to do there. Um, you can control, again, how many you know, total characters we're printing per row of data. So if you wanted to trim a couple characters off, whatever it might be, you can do that. Or this just, again, limits it. After that, um, you'll see we have a start line here. This is actually going to change uh, depending on how we ultimately set this up. Uh, what I mean by that is we've got an option down here called automatic deletion. What that would do is after we pr uh, print each row of information, it would then delete that row so there's no risk of duplicates. Okay, so especially in a lottery scenario or something like that where you do not want a duplicate whatsoever, we would select that. If we do that, you'll see the start line drops all the way down to the very last code. So we had 50,000 codes in this file. It's going to start at the bottom and work its way up. And again, it's going to delete each string after we print it. Okay? We can also not select automatic deletion. Okay, so it's not going to delete those codes. We can also uh, use this option here for some applications called cycle printing. What that would do is print from 1 all the way down to 50,000 and then start over again. Okay? We also have an option right above these two called each line printing times and that's how many times do you want it to print each line of data, okay? Typically with automatic deletion you want it to do it one time, one time only, delete it again so there's no chance of duplicates. So if we don't have that selected and you do want duplicates, you can tell it to print, you know, each row two times, five times, doesn't matter, okay? So for the application we're working with today, we are going to utilize automatic deletion. Again, this will just kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on. We're going to click OK. And you'll see right now we just have that text field in our message. All right. 
We're not going to actually see the string of data that's going to be printed until we save this, download it, and hit print on the home screen, just so we're clear. Okay, so this just kind of shows you the generic text field or the amount of space that we're taking up right now with this partic uh, particular data element. So we're done. Pretty straightforward as far as setting up the, the USB text data. Not a lot of options as to you know, how you can customize it. Um, so when you're, you're set up, we're just going to save this. We'll just say bulk codes. You can name it whatever you want. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just download this to print right away. Okay. And again, we're not going to see the string of data until we actually hit print. So as soon as I hit print, you'll see it show up on the screen here. Um, so what we'll do now is I'll hit print. We'll show you how this works. Again, all you're going to see is each string of data coming through one at a time when we print. Uh, you know, pretty straightforward. Uh, after we do that, what we'll do is actually put in a very small file with only 10 codes or, or maybe even fewer. So we can show you what happens when you're using automatic deletion and you do not want duplicates. You can see what happens at the very end of the file. When you've printed all of the data, we'll show you what the display will, will do. Uh, we'll show you that it'll deactivate printing, um, you know, so the system's basically done with that file. Another thing to point out here too, especially with the file we're using in this video, since we do have 50,000 codes, uh, this is important to point out. If you don't make it through all 50,000, let's say in today's production run, and we shut the system down at the end of the day, when we start it up tomorrow, it will pick up where it left off, just to point that out, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start printing, and we'll show you how this looks both on the display and as it's printing. So we hit print, and you're gonna see a string of data appear on the display. Okay, you'll see each time we trigger printing, it's going to the next row of data in that column. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. So now we'll actually show you the printer uh, physically printing the data. Now I'm just doing this by hand, obviously, with the slide table, so placement might not be perfect. Again, just giving you the, an idea of how this is working. Okay, so you can see we're just moving along, printing each, again, each row of that information in that file. All right, another feature we'll show you really quick with this is if by chance someone walks by and pulls that USB while we're running production and printing those codes, the system will automatically recognize that and stop printing. Okay, right? It doesn't have anything plugged in anymore. It has no file to reference, so it will stop and it will give you a notification. Okay, so we're reaching the end of our file. All right, so we've only got 10 codes left. We're just going to show you what happens when we do finish printing all of that data. Okay. So you see you get another pop-up here um, when we do end or hit the end of that file. So um, this is just a, a small 10 code file. You'd see the same thing if we had the you know, 50,000 or 200,000, whatever it might be. Um, you're gonna see a pop-up. Okay, printing will stop. The printer will not print anymore since we've got, especially in this application, the system set up for automatic deletion at the end of this file. So um, the system won't print anymore. Okay, pretty straightforward you're gonna see this notification on the display, okay? Okay, so you can see it's not printing anymore. It is actually deactivated printing altogether once we've reached the end of that file. Again, so we've used the automatic deletion function for this particular application. We've gone through each row one time. So to absolutely ensure there's no duplication of any of those codes, we're done. Uh, it's done printing with that file we'd have to load in a new file to uh, start production up again or start printing again. All right, that wraps up our video on our USB text data function for a Jetstream printer. 
If you'd like to see more videos on the Jetstream or any of our other products, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, also don't hesitate to head over to squidink.com for even more information on our entire product line. Thank you.